Today we're gonna to talk about cake decorating nozzles and their uses, also called cake decorating tips. Some people call them nozzles. This is my collection. Really quickly, I'm just gonna go over them. Then I'm gonna show you each of their uses. We have round tips here, various sizes from little tiny round tips to a larger one. Something like this would be used for writing on cakes. Something like this would be used for a border, a medium kind of round one would be for polka dots, like a Swiss dot cake would be really pretty. You can use them to make centers for flowers. Now talking about flowers, we have petal tips. So we have various petal tips here. 104 is my favorite, of course. That's the rose. That's actually this one. This is a 103. So they come in different sizes. A variety of sizes is good. And I have a tiny little one here for very, very delicate flowers and a mum. Mum tips are fantastic. You gotta have a mum tip because mums are gorgeous. And I do have a video on that. I will put links below to all the videos that coincide with all this stuff and also the, the numbers that coincide. Then we have star tips and various size stars. I have tiny ones all the way up to big ones. And you can do all kinds of borders and interesting swirls with these. I love these. Then we have the leaf tips. And I have the original leaf tip, which looks like this. And then I have a newer version of a leaf tip, which is this one here. And I love this one. This makes a really nice tip. I mean, <laughs> this makes a nice leaf, rather. And I used to have the small one. I have to order a reorder because I don't have it anymore. I don't know what happened to it. One thing you'll notice about this is if you do take cake decorating classes and stuff, you will probably end up um, losing some of your tips along the way. And um, maybe other people end up with your tips and you end up with their tips. This happens. <laughs> Sometimes they accidentally get thrown out or end up somewhere weird. So th those are the tips, the most um, used tips that I, I use. Oh, I basket weave. So basket weave tips. This is a large basket. This, these are the smaller baskets. I don't use them that much anymore because I don't like to, I like to use star tips for my basket weaves. And for all of this that I'm telling you right now, I know I'm going kind of fast, but I will leave links below to corresponding videos. And I will also briefly show you what each of these tips does. The other tips that you might want to have are Russian piping tips. I have a set, although I don't use any of them except for the tulip. I really like the tulip. The other ones, they look a little bit, I don't know, unprofessional. I don't really like the way they look, but I do like the tulips and they're just fun to play with. So you might want to get a set. They come with a coupler and they come with plastic, um, reuse, not reusable, disposable bags. And I have a link below for you to my shop, my Amazon shop. So if you want to help support my channel, you can buy through my Amazon shop. That would be amazing. It just helps a little bit. So I appreciate that very much. And I have rose nails here. You're gonna want rose nails, different sizes. This one's a little crooked, but it still works. Definitely have to have those. Couplers are really important. You have to have a lot of these couplers. They do tend to get lost, but I got a bunch of them recently and I keep them in my box. I try to be organized. They go right onto your bag, and I will have a tutorial on that as well. The other and the last, the final tip is one of my favorites, a 789. It's an icing tip, and it helps you to ice your cake. It helps to put an even coat on there, and then you can spread it out. And it really does save your shoulder, because I had shoulder issues at the time. I started using it, and it really helped. It goes right into your bag. I have a couple of bags that I specifically cut for this tip so I can just have them filled and ready to go. This is a fantastic tip to have. To make it easier for you guys, I'm gonna put all this information in a PDF document. You can go to my website and download it. It's weddingcakesforyou.com and I will leave a link below for that so that you can just have that at your for reference and you can also, I'll put links on there to Amazon and all that stuff. So here's a sampling of some of the tips. This here is the star. These. Those would be used for borders. 
those are very simple borders. This is just a very small sampling of what you can do with all the tips. So here's the round tip. You could do, I love the little dots. They're really pretty. This is the Cornelli lace. You can do writing with it, borders. And then this one here is the petal tips. You can do a variety of things. There's so much you can do with it. This is just a small sampling and also like a rose. You could do the rose. This is the grass tip. It's pretty interesting. This is the mum. I have a great video on mums. And here is the basket weave. Now this is just a quick little thing that I put together real fast. And it's not comprehensive, but it kind of gives you an idea. I am going to do a detailed tutorial on some of these tips. The ones that are super popular, like the 104, the petal tips, the stars, the round. I want to do each one individually in a video for you so that you can refer back to it. Also, the buttercream that I use is my Italian Marine buttercream recipe, which is on my YouTube channel, and I will put a link to that as well. It's delicious. I use it for everything. It's smooth, creamy, it's firm enough to pipe. And there's lots to talk about, especially about buttercream, but I'm gonna go ahead and see you in the next video, okay? Because I don't wanna overwhelm. I just wanna keep these really basic. Okay, bye-bye you guys.